Like many businesses, when the pandemic began, the Mariners Museum in Newport News closed and had to move online to reach out to the community. But in doing so, something pretty incredible happened. Katie Collette has that story. Right now, the Mariners Museum sits quietly in Newport News, but online, there's a lot of action for the museum. Our reach has expanded exponentially, I mean, all over the world. Lauren Fury, manager of visitor engagement at the Mariners Museum, says this move into the virtual world has actually given some of their work a boost. We have like a 300% increase in, in our web presence and our blog reading. Lauren cites Maritime Mondays as a big success. In that program, Lauren reads a book to children online and gets them involved in everything the museum has to offer. I'm pulling in things from our collection. So if it's an Egyptian story like this one, I bring in Egyptian items from our collection to show the kids and talk about and talk about what a collection is. During one Maritime Monday event, Lauren read the book, My Bed, Enchanting Ways to Fall Asleep Around the World. This lady just kind of commented, um, that she was from Russia and we just kind of assumed she was just a, a military spouse or or in the military herself and in this area doing training or something. And she's like, no, no, I'm in Kyrgyz, Russia. <laughs> the woman told Lauren she teaches at an English language school in Russia. Now every Monday, her students listen to Lauren read and they join in the conversation from the other side of the world. Our name is getting out there and and it's you know, the community is learning more about us as well as the whole world. And that's just, you know, awesome. Katie Collette, 10 on your side. In even more great news for the Mariners Museum, it will reopen its doors to the public Memorial Day weekend. To learn more about reopening or Maritime Mondays, go to our website, wavy.com, and click on this story.